the rabbi is here and he's a sofer. So anybody who has a tefillin, which is a little bit drooping down to his forehead, a little bit too low, as we already mentioned, you can go to the rabbi and he'll fix it for you. He just has to say the Hashem Kedushat Tefillin one time and he fixes everybody's Tefillin. Whoever has it a little bit too low, a little bit on the forehead, he says Hashem, go to the rabbi and he'll help you. He's very happy to help you. First time uh, for free. First time, first time for free. <laughs> okay. I have another thing I want to tell you about the rabbi. He's such a gentleman, you know. I was sitting over here and he passes me one of those standards, you know, to put the Sidur so it can be nice and well, well put. So when he passed me the Shtender to put in my Sidur, he's a, such a gentleman. It reminded me of a halakha also. <laughs> so <laughs> I'll tell you what the halakha is. Something interesting, right? It says in the, it says in the Shulchan Ruch, the Ramah, you're there, that you're not allowed to take service from somebody who's shone halachot. Somebody who's a tamid chacham, learns halachot every day. You're not allowed to take service from him. So what does that mean? You shouldn't ask him, a person who's tamid chacham, uh, do me a favor, you know, go to the store and buy me some cigarettes, you know, or uh, buy me some, uh, you know, buy me some, uh, uh, some pizza. Get me a pizza pie. You know, you're going to 108, right? Okay, get me a pizza. Yeah, uh, bring me back. You're asking a Tamil Chacham to, to be served for you? You know, you shouldn't ask him to serve you. He's a servant of Hashem only. He doesn't serve you. He's not your servant. He's a servant, a servant of Hashem. So you're not allowed to ask somebody, a Tamil Chacham, to serve you like that. You know? Uh, and also, same thing with a Kohen, as you know, right? A Kohen, you're not allowed to ask him, Kohen, uh, do me a favor. Uh, pass me, you know, the, 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 the plow, the plow over there. Uh, give me. Blow, you know, blow, yeah, blow. yeah, plow, pass it over to me. Blow, the, blow. We Georgians, we say plow, you know, we're, we're a little bit different, you know, whatever. What can I tell you, right? We're a different breed, a little bit, different breed. So, right, the plowy, plowy. <laughs> so, uh, whatever, right? So, you're not allowed to t- tell the coin like this because he's, he, he's not supposed to be serving you. He's supposed to be serving Hashem. He's, How he's, serving he's chosen, exactly, for Hashem. You're serving Hashem, but not, not serving the people. No, you're serving Hashem, right? That's the thing, you know? You're, you're being the shliach for them to serve Hashem, but you're not serving them. This is Kodesh, you know what I mean? That's the, that whole thing. That's the whole thing. So, you're not allowed to ask. But, there's a story brought down in the Midrash, you know, I just saw it recently. It says over there that Rabban Gamliel, who was the Nasi, and Rabbi Yoshua and Rabbi, and Rabbi Eliezer, they were at the wedding, you know. Rabbi Gamliel married off his son, you know, they had a chatuna, right? Baruch Hashem. Sheirbus machot Israel. So what happened was that Rabbi Gamliel was coming to the table of Rabbi Yoshua and Rabbi Eliezer and serving them drinks, you know, giving them cocktails, you know. Oh, here, take a martini. Here, take some wine, you know, take some vodka, you know, take, take this, you know. So... One turns to the other, Rabbi Eliezer, Rabbi Yoshua, asked Rabbi Yoshua, asked Rabbi Eliezer, he says, are we allowed to take service from him, you know? He's the Nasi, he's the Kamin Chacham, he's also Nasi, he's Nasi Israel. How can we take service from him? Are we allowed to do that, you know? So, answered Rabbi Eliezer to Rabbi Yoshua, he says, don't worry, he says, don't worry about that. Why? We find that even a, per- a greater person served people. You know who that was? Amr Aminu. He was a Gedolador, he served the Malachim, right, when they came. He thought they were Aradim, and even Aradim he served them. So, so uh, what's the what's the what's halacha then, man? You're allowed to take service, or you're not allowed to take service. So the answer is that if he does it for you without asking, you're allowed to take it from him. That's that's mutar. But if if he if you have to ask him to do it, that's your you're allowed to you're not allowed to do. Right? That, that, that's the difference. You understand? Don't ask him. But if he take, tells gives you, give it, take it. That's that's the halacha. This is this is the way it is. There's a story brought down also from the Baal Shem Tov al You know what? You know you know you know what it says, right? That Baal Shem Tov one time. He, he, he couldn't believe it, the Baal Shem Tov. He saw somebody on Shabbat, and it was Mechalel Shabbat, you know, in front of him. In front of him, it was Mechalel Shabbat. You know, so he was, oh my God, you know, he was in shock, the Baal Shem Tov. They say, you know, he wanted to do Teshuvah, you know, some kind of Cheshbon and Nefesh, to see, maybe he did something wrong. Why did Akadosh Baruch Hu show him somebody who was Mechalel Shabbat, right in, right in front of his face? You know, this is, a, this is not a good sign. So, therefore, you know, he made Cheshbon and Nefesh, he said, maybe I did something, you know, I, I broke Shabbat or something, you know. And Kadosh Baruch Hu showed me that I did something wrong. So in the end, he found that he didn't do anything wrong with, on Shabbat. There was, there was nothing there. This was, the only thing was like this, you know, there was, he has a Talmud. There was one Talmud who was learning in his kolel, you know, one of the Talmudim. And oh, that Talmud, he asked him one time to go to the store and bring him something. You know, so he says, ah, he says, that's my sin. He says, you know, that I asked the Talmud Chacham to bring me something from the store. That, yeah, that you're not allowed to do. So he learned from there, right, that he did Teshuvah on this. You know, not to ask him any, anymore, Tamil Chacham, to do something for him like that. So therefore, he did Teshuvah. So what's the connection between Shabbat and Tamil Chacham? 
You know, why why the Kadosh Baruch Hu show him that somebody's breaking Shabbat? Because he asked the Tamil Chacham, what's the connection? So you know what they say, right? Tamil Chachamim, they're called Shabbat. So just like Shabbat is Kadosh, Tamil Chachamim are Kadosh. So therefore, you're not, when you, when you ask a Tamil Chacham to, to, to do something for you personal like that, it's like you're breaking Shabbat because you're breaking the Kedushah of, of his Torah. Baruch Adonai Le'olam, Amen Amen. Chazak Baruch.